What's up? My name is Technobi here for Talkshoot and welcome back to another video. In this quick video, I'll be showing you how to fix Windows Terminal when it's not working or simply just reset it back to default settings if things aren't working as you would have hoped. It's really simple to do. All you need to do is hit start and press R at the same time to bring up the run dialog. Inside of here, type in percentage local app data percentage then backslash packages and hit enter. Now we'll open up the packages folder here. These are all of the different installed programs on your PC from the Microsoft store. We'll click anywhere and type in Microsoft dot followed by Windows Terminal, one word, and you'll see Microsoft.Windows Terminal here. So once again, I just clicked anywhere, started typing Microsoft. to jump to Microsoft. Windows Terminal, one word, and it's highlighted here. Then we can open it up and inside of here, head across to Local State, then look for Settings.json. Inside of here are all of your different settings for the Windows Terminal app. From here, we can either rename this to say one and rename one of these backup files to simply remove dot backup after it. So like this and open it with notepad just to see what we have. Otherwise, if you'd like to reset it completely, simply delete the settings file completely or rename it. Then when you're done with that, assuming you rolled back to a backup, you can close and restart your Windows terminal to see if things are happy once more. Otherwise, we can delete that settings file and reinstall terminal completely. For this, hit start, type in terminal, right click it, and choose uninstall. Then we'll search for the store and open up the Microsoft Store app. Inside of here, we'll search for apps and games, where we'll search for terminal. Then we'll look for Windows Terminal Apps Developer Tools that looks like this. Click it. You should see it's Windows Terminal from Microsoft Corporation. Then click install. If you see open, it hasn't uninstalled properly. Just keep that in mind. When you then open it up after installing it, it should be reset to the default settings, undoing whatever could have caused it to break in the first place. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, be here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.